Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kara. And I'm perpetually sleep deprived. Uh, pretty accurate, I am these days too. And today we are here at the Biltmore. So we don't really have a solid plan of kind of specific things we're gonna look at, but generally just the gardens, probably grab a bite to eat and just explore. So we'll take you along with us. It's a beautiful day. I think the high is 66 and sunny and some of the trees are just starting to bloom. So it should be pretty nice. Yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah. We've never really explored. We've been here once, but we just mm -hmm. went to a clubhouse and mm -hmm. it was nighttime. So yeah. now we've got a grounds pass. We got our hands on one. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we're going to see the Biltmore beyond just the house. Right. Because we're actually. Because there's a lot more to yeah, it. Yeah. We actually, we didn't pay to go in the house today. So it'll all just be outside. And then we're going to go to, I think it's called Antler Village, where there's some shops and restaurants and the winery. Um, so yeah, we'll explore there too. Yeah, there are 8,000 acres and there are a lot of things to explore. Yeah. So we're going to take you guys with us. Yep. All right. See you out there. Okay. walking around the gardens a little bit and we just walked through the walled garden and then behind me here oh they're seeing <laughs> behind me this is the rose garden but it's not in bloom right now because it's super early in March um, but now we're gonna go check out the conservatory which I'm imagining there will be some things blooming or more greenery there are some things blooming actually now though there's tulips daffodils and then some of the trees right Red yeah, and, and I don't know the names. So yeah, I don't either. <laughs> in Florida for a few years. They're like big air plants. <laughs> big air plants. Huh? Oh, these, yeah. Yeah, well that is, but then this big one, this can get, I think these get like 150 pounds or something. Like okay. Yeah, you can get like massive huh. And these are blooming. That's cool. All kinds of tropical flowers yeah. that I've never seen before. As big as your head. It's even larger. <laughs> Twice the size. This is really cool. This one feels like velvet. I don't know what it is, but I think this can also be a house plant. Yeah, this is supposedly the cool house. I don't think. And that's the current temperature. <laughs> yeah. 93.7 currently. Not really the cool house.
All right, well, we just left the Biltmore grounds. We wandered around the gardens quite a bit and went into the conservatory. I feel like that part was probably my favorite because there were actually a lot of things blooming in there. As you saw, there were a lot of orchids and just a bunch of other plants like bromeliads and cactus and other things that I don't know the names of. <laughs> but I feel like that was a really neat area. I would definitely recommend that, especially if you come in the winter time where there's not much that's gonna be blooming outside. Although they did have like tulips and daffodils and um, some flowering trees too, which was nice. And we didn't actually go in the home, so we're just kind of sticking to all the outdoor stuff now. But we are on our way to the, I believe it's called Antler Hill Village or something of that sort. So we're driving there now, but we just stopped off quickly at Bass Pond. So I'll show you a bit of what this is like. There's a little, they say that there's a little waterfall. It's kind of not really a true waterfall, more like man-made, but I'll show you a little bit of what this looks like and then we'll head on our way to lunch and the little shopping area. These people are gonna because... wonder why I'm filming. I'm not trying to film you, dude. Oh my god, this look on that guy's face. <laughs> <laughs> he looked over at you and then did like the, like where you tuck your lips in and like. Tuck uh, your lips in, huh? What? <laughs> like this look? Like. Oh, that, yeah. The uh, the awkward white people smile when yes. they don't wanna talk to yes, each other. The awkward smile. Of, yep. Of, I, I acknowledge you're there, but, but I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Where are we? Is it Antler, Antler Hill Village. Is that, are you sure? Yes, I'm reading this sign right there. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, we just pulled up at the... Okay. <laughs> Five seconds ago, hon. Okay. Five seconds All ago. Right. All right, we just pulled up to the Antler Hill Village and Winery, which is a really cute little European village with some shops and restaurants, and they have a hotel in here too. So we're going to go grab some lunch, but I quickly wanted to say that right after we walked around kind of the waterfall and lake area, a subscriber of mine actually said hello. So Frank and Susan, hey, really good to meet you guys. I'm really glad that you stopped us and said hi. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go grab some lunch and have a little wander around. I forgot we were Instagram famous now, so I, I'm supposed to show my lunch. <laughs> yeah, so there you right. go, it's like a bacon turkey bravo. Yep, that looks Martinera. really good. Yeah. <laughs> Except it's not. No, it's from the kitchen cafe. That's right. I ended up getting the tomato and goat cheese sandwich. reading about how the Biltmore used to have a dairy here and they had one of the largest, what did it say? Dairies in the southeast. Yeah, one of the largest in the southeast, which was 140 cows, which these days isn't very much, but it looks like by the photos they were all Jersey cows, which are one of our favorites. They're super cute. They just don't produce as much as some of the other cows. Right, yeah, they're not like the highest producing, but they're good quality and still a decent amount of milk from the all that I know about farming. <laughs> yes, from the one book that we've read on the subject. Right, yeah.
we've made our way over to the barn and I guess it's the stables, but they're not active stables right now. And we were just kind of laughing about the barn doors because let me show you this. Some of the barn doors are kind of chewed away. So it looks like probably when the door was open, the horse probably chewed on it. And then this one's even worse. <laughs> probably the horse was just munching, munching on the wood, trying to get out. I just thought that was pretty cute. So we're just wandering around here. We actually also made a reservation at 4.30 for wine tasting. So we're just kind of wandering around the Antler Hill Village and this little barn area, looking at some old um, farm equipment and just kind of the history of the area, which is actually pretty interesting, I think. Yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna wander around here a little bit, then do the wine tasting at 4.30 and that'll be pretty much it. I feel like we've done way more today than I thought we were gonna do. There's a lot more to this property than just the Biltmore house. I feel like a lot of people just think of that, but there's so much more to the grounds and gardens and village and just so much more than you might, you know, realize just from looking at it online. As you can see, we have had a great day at the Biltmore. All right, well, we just finished up at the Biltmore. We did do the wine tasting, which is free if you have either a membership or a day pass. So with the wine tasting, you get five samples and I'll share with you um, the different types of wine that we got, just our brief kind of opinions on them. You got the white wine. The, yeah, the Masterpiece Collections mm -hmm. white wine. And that was your favorite. Yeah. Right. Actually, I'm usually a red wine guy, but nope. Yeah, you liked that one. I'm. I really don't tend to like white wine very much, um, but it actually was pretty good for white wine. You got that. I tried the rosé, which was decent, and then um, four of the different red or no, three of the different red wines. Yeah, the Sangiovese, Tempranillo, the Tempranillo, and then the Malbec, which. I tend to be a red wine drinker, but I didn't really love any of them, to be honest. I thought they were they were fine, but I don't know. I didn't really like them didn't very much. Didn't blow you away. Yeah, which I had tried some of their wines, I think like a year ago or so, and just thought they were fine. I don't know. I'm curious if you've tried it, what your opinion is. But that was, I think it was still fun though. It was a cool atmosphere. The building was really pretty with like the vaulted ceilings and the wood and stuff. We finished up there and... The I price was right too. Yeah, the price was right with it being free. <laughs> um, we finished up there and yeah, I'm really tired. I honestly did not think we would be here as late as we are. We got here at like 11? 11, yeah. Yeah, and it's almost it's 6... Yeah, it's almost 6 o'clock, which is crazy. I, I really just didn't think we'd be here that long, but there's a lot to see between... And we also didn't even go in the house. Nope, haven't even done that yet. So if we had done that... But the I mean, grounds are new to us, so right. we did a lot of exploring. Right. Yeah, we did all the grounds, and then all of the Antler Hill Village, and I really liked that area. It was really yeah. cozy. And we were talking to one of the people that works here, and they were saying that over the summer, they have, like, music kind of in the Antler Hill Village area outside, like outdoor music. There's falconry, 
Yeah, was, falconry of all things. Yeah, like falconry. They have paddling, you can go, you know, kayaking, you can mm -hmm. go horseback riding, they have you can bike ride. Smithing. Can, yeah, they have sm blacksmithing. Yeah. yeah. Like pretty much anything that you want to do, they have, I feel like. And then oh, there's I have a else. list here. Let me you have the list of all the things. That... Yeah, she gave me a list. Of, there was a an outdoor center. Oh right. And there was like that a was cabin. I think you cool. got some clips mm -hmm. of that, and it tells you. Here it is. There's a Land Rover experience. I'm not sure what that is. That's what that was. The house that we went in. It's all right here. Guided horseback and carriage rides, falconry, bike rentals, guided rafting, sporting clays. So like, that was the gunshots. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, guided private tour and group activities, and she was saying, the person we were talking to said she loves birding, yep. and they have so like bird that. tours, and yeah. Basically, um, we don't have a membership, but we did learn that if we did want to get one in the next two days, I guess, that it's a cheaper... It's half off. Yeah, it's like 150 but per person. So, I don't know. And we're for the of... more hippie types, they even have chocolate meditation, and forest bathing. Oh, I love forest bathing. That's fun. Shinrin Yoku. That's actually so, pretty cool. So yeah, there's pretty much anything you could think of. Birding, nature sketching. But, nice. Yeah, I don't yeah. even know. Fly fishing, archery. Croquet. Croquet. Yeah. yeah. Any outdoor activity, they have it. So I guess to wrap up this video, I'll just say my thoughts. I mean, I feel like it's one of those things that you have to do at least once, and I think I'll probably say the same for the house. I do want to go in there at some point. Mm -hmm. um, kind of on the fence about getting a, an annual pass. I don't know. It's like, because we live here, I feel like maybe it's worth it if it's only 150 I don't know. There's more to do than I feel like it might initially seem like, even online. It's just... Yeah, huge property. Well, I had, before we moved here, I, I was telling Kara, I had looked at their website and I couldn't believe how much they were claiming that they could do because mm -hmm. I didn't appreciate how large the property is. And then I looked and then, yeah. It takes you, honestly, probably like over 10 minutes. It's like 10 to 15 minutes to get from like the Biltmore house to the Antler Hill Village. Yeah, driving. And so probably from the entrance, yeah, it's like 15, 20 minutes mm -hmm. to get all the way back to the other end. And that's in the winter, so I'm thinking that probably in spring and summer. Summer. We're assuming it's going to be more packed. Well, anyways, this was definitely a very full day. I hope that this gave you some kind of idea of what the Biltmore is like. And if you have visited, let me know what your favorite part was. And also, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave me a comment down below. All right, everyone, I'll see you very soon in the next one.